There are plenty of people on the right, including many of my former colleagues, who believe that this is essentially the left-wing vision of conservation, being cavemen and cavewomen, reverting to a Neolithic existence. But equally silly stereotypes are held on the left. There are people, and I know some of them, my father among them, in fact, who believe that basically the right desires pollution above all else, and actually actively desires a destroyed environment. Obviously, neither of these things are true. We can all see that. Boatloads of government programs, not only in the environmental realm, but elsewhere, subsidize things we just shouldn't subsidize. We should move towards a system that relies on prices, determined as well as we can, rather than these burdensome regulations. Certainly there's a role for regulation, but quite often a price mechanism of some sort can work better and result in smaller, less intrusive government rather than a regulation. Sometimes, many times, most times I would posit, simply getting the government out of the way is the solution for the environment. Sometimes free market policies are better. Let me quote my hero, my favorite president, the greatest president. Ronald Reagan. Many laws protecting environmental quality have promoted liberty by securing property against the destructive trespass of pollution. That's from one of his reports from the Council for Environmental Quality. And I think it contains some very important ideas. First, it recognizes in a way many on the environmental left do not, that there is a strong and important link between liberty, environmental protection, and private property. Second, it realizes that pollution, the damage to the environment, does hurt all of us. It is a trespass. It is a violation of property rights. And it is something that in one way or another must be confronted by the public sector. Conservatism properly understood can be green. And conservatism properly understood should be green. Thank you so much.